Right, welcome to Big Book System, the online platform for engineering and architectural tutorial. Always subscribe and like our YouTube channel for more helpful tutorials on a daily basis. Thank you. Now here is my Revit application. And for this class, I'll be discussing about how you can create this 3D visual text. 3D visual text are renderable text. What is renderable text? It means that when these designs are rendered, this right up is going to be part of the output i'm going to select this and i'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard i took that out so i want to put another one here you can say lagos pharma pharmaceutical lagos pharmacy okay uh, drug junctions and then uh, uh, pharmacy master i can say uh, Lego supermarket and the likes of them so now let me take my design to instead of camera view just 3d view and you can see that here I'm here to apply material to my roofing and the likes of them like that all this class are what I'm going to treat about now if I go to architecture from architecture I'm going to go to under model I'll go to model text and you can see this is going to add a 3d text to your building now if I click on this text it's going to pop me text editor here I can see Lagos Lagos Superstore I'll just use it like that. Super store. And I'm going to click on OK. Now, when I click on OK, you notice that uh, my 3D text is flowing along with my cursor. Now, never mind. Just drop it anywhere. So, I'll just click. Mm, that's it. Now, having this, there are a lot of things I can control on this first before I can even place it to the proper place that I want. First, I can select the text and I can come to its text editor. Here, you can see that I have the depth of the text as high as 150. That's the thickness of the depth the text. I can reduce the something about 90 because I don't need something with that depth. You can see the way it reduces. You can add material to your text. Of course, just watch my video tutorials on how you can add material to anything in Revit. Now, one thing you can do again is that you can come to this edit type. Now, you can see my text size exactly. So, this size is not is the original size that was here. I've, I changed it to 1500 mm. It was 600 mm originally. So, you can either change it. The professional things to do is that I haven't changed it to 1500. It is advisable to say duplicate. And on my duplicate, I can maintain this area. If that is the font I want, then the proper thing is to make this 1500. So it always reflects. So it always reflects on my. So you know that when you're selecting these, immediately you see 1500 mm, you know that when you go to text editor, you can always see 1500 mm here to justify the, the width of the 3D text. Now, I haven't done that. Now, I need our text to be here. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to orbit my design a little bit. So I'll hold on my shift click plus my middle mouse, hold it down and orbit. Good. And you can see now. I can now see properly where I want to place my 3D text. Deselect it. You can always reselect at any time. And deselect. Now notice if you deselect, nothing is happening here. But immediately I reselect, you can see that I'm now in modify stroke generic model. This is a text. I can edit the text. Here's a work plane. Now, a work plane is a reference plane that allows you to pick a new face that you want to position your object. So I want to position this text here. So I'm going to say pick new. Make sure that the text is selected. Then you click on pick new work plane. Now it's uh, started showing me positioning. 
even the floor can be my new work plane you can see the way i like the entire floor or this wall so i'll just stay at the front of this wall then i'll click that's cool you can see now that it has transferred it from this to this place so now i can perfect my view i want to have front elevation just click once and then you can see now that i have my lego superstore so what is there the only thing that i need to control now is my rotation so I'll select the lego superstore i'll come to rotate here click maintain a particular point click once then you rotate 180 degree then you click again and it automatically rotates your drawing use the up and down arrow key to control its position you can see that and if that is not giving you the exact because of the space that is available there you can come back here and then let's say we use something like 1200 that's okay as well click OK and I can use my front and back arrow to try and position it properly so and that is that about that and that concludes that for this class so take any camera view and you can see that Lego Superstore anytime I render this design in future of course, Lego Superstore is going to be part of it. I can add material to it and do all sorts of things. So, that's a simple procedure. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more helpful tutorial. Thanks and catch up with you in another video tutorial. Thank you.